Eva says there is a time for everything. As a young, starving, abused child in Auschwitz, she could not have forgiven. You lecture now, movie coming out, documentary. What do you think, what, what, are, you, what are you giving us? What are you leaving with us? What should we remember? I want to train the next generation and the educators that we have to teach forgiveness from age six. And this is what my new associate, Bob Enright, said, if we don't teach children to read and write and the arithmetic, will they know, would they know how to do it? No. Hmm. Then how on earth are you expecting them to know how to forgive? We haven't taught them how to forgive. Is there hope? Absolutely. Eva has reached out and forgiven one of the surviving doctors at the death camps. But her biggest challenge was forgiving the image of the notorious angel of death, Joseph Mengele. Pretend that Mengele is in your room and you're telling him, I forgive you. That's a little interesting Ooh. suggestion. Yeah. Well, see, I was on the journey of forgiveness. See, because I want you to realize how it would make you feel if you could do that. And so I arrived home. I actually opened the dictionary, made a list of 20 nasty words relating to the experiment, which I proceeded in reading clear and loud to that make-believe mangle in my room. And when I finished, I said, in spite of all that, I forgive you. And to realize in that kind of virtual thing, really, because it wasn't real, that I actually had the power to forgive even the angel of death of Auschwitz. That was an amazing thing. I was that? not hurting anybody. But you were helping you, and it worked. And it made me feel good to be free of Mengele, free of Auschwitz. Yeah. And to realize that I could do it without hurting anybody, I decided to forgive all of them. Okay. Because so as long as we are angry with somebody, we are still victims. This is the secret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if we forgive everybody, you don't no longer, it is like removing all that from your shoulder and you're free. You have a new lease of life. Thank you very much for your time and for being you and for being strong and sharing. Sharing her story in an upcoming documentary is another way she's reaching out to all who will listen. The story of Eva by acclaimed filmmaker Ted Green will premiere on April 5th at Clues Hall in Indianapolis, then again April 14th at Tilson Auditorium in Terre Haute. In answer to our question, can you forgive if you can't forget? Eva says, yes. She lives her life now by three words, peace, humanity, and forgiveness. And only you have the power to embrace all three. <laughs>